It is ironic and sad that on Human Rights Day, Iran is again covered in blood. Only in two past weeks, the mullahs executed 50 more people. In Orumia prison, dozens of tortured victims are in the 20th day of their hunger strike. Thousands are on the death row. Dozens of sick prisoners are denied access to medicine and medical treatment and are being worn out to the point of death. In view of the situation, I would like to ask EU governments a simple question. How could continued relations with this barbaric regime be considered legitimate? Has anything changed under Rouhani? The UN Secretary General and Special Rapporteurs on the situation of human rights in Iran say no. Nothing has changed. The reality goes far beyond this. There is no such thing as human rights in Iran. This regime has founded its pillars on the blood of 120,000 executed political prisoners. 30,000 of them were executed in 1988 in a matter of few months by Khomeini's fatwa. The Mullah's constitution, the penal code, uh, the civil code, uh, the laws adopted by the regime's parliament are all based on the violation of human rights. Dear friends, the nuclear talks with the Mullahs in the past year continued uh, in parallel with the rise in executions in Iran. To ensure the success of the talks, Europe and the United States not only remained silent vis-a-vis uh, -vis the human rights tragedy in Iran, they also offered further unjustified concessions to the regime. Despite all this, the negotiations failed and left the world living in fear of a barbaric fundamentalist regime obtaining nuclear bomb. But as far as the mullahs were concerned, the extension of nuclear talks was an indication uh, of a deadlock and a major defeat for the regime. This regime has no capacity to accept a deal which would guarantee abandoning nuclear bomb. The regime is facing an impasse. Uh, it wants to end the international sanction, but at the same time, it fears the consequences of abandoning its means of survival. In addition, the regime is engulfed in a destructive power struggle at the top. More importantly, Iranian society is deeply discontent and on the verge of another uprising. Uh, three days ago, on the anniversary of the Students' Day in Iran, students from different universities, despite uh, severe security measures by the Mullah's brutal forces, uh, defied the dictatorship ruling Iran by chanting, political prisoners must be freed. Therefore, now is the time to intensify the pressure on the Mullah's regime. Uh, Mullah's agreed to negotiate due to mounting pressure, stalled on signing agreement due to concessions. The only way forward is more pressure and more sanctions. There is no light at the end of tunnel of marathon of talks. Uh, there is a nuclear bomb at the end of the time. 